Hey, Mitchell. Er, I can still call you Mitch, right? Yeah, sure. Either or? I mean, I've grown accustomed to Mitch already, but either one is fine. So how's she flying? Like, with the actual maneuvers that you're trained with, as opposed to just simple flight? Well, you know what the weird thing is? She's a lot easier on the flight stick. I mean, a lot more cooperative than I remember. I don't know how that happened, but, uh... Yeah, she's doing good. Wait, really? That wouldn't happen to have anything to do with Mead, would oh, it? No, 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 no. There's no way I would ever let someone like her touch my plane, so that's a big no. And, you know, because of the fact that I never trusted her with my plane, the guards had even less trust in her working on it at all. So that never would have happened. Hey, that's not entirely accurate. It's more because that female guard always gave us the stink eye. She absolutely did not want me doing us any favors. Oh, there he goes. Undermining everything, I say. Thank you, Hobbit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, it really was because of the guard. What was her name again? Yeah, she never had a name tape on. Made me uneasy. Oh, that's a thing they do at the 444th. I don't know if that's an official protocol in every brig, but anyway, her name is Levine. But it turns out your gut feeling was right. She's an Erusian spy. But even that's also complicated because, uh, she hates Erusia now. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hit the brakes a second there. You can't honestly tell me you believe that last part, right? All right. I know how that sounds. But for her to just turn herself in and just dump all sorts of information about everything, and I mean everything ranging from the agency she works for to how she got assigned to the Triple Four, all that tells me she's at least a little bit genuine. Don't get me wrong. Her tears may have very well been crocodile tears, but the way she was talking about how her boss sent someone to take her out, that sent chills down my spine. And the boss wasn't even a Rusian, it was just some guy named Claude. Wait, Claude? Yeah, he's like a part of some secret organization or something. My friend Lunar has been looking into it ever since the two head guards told her about it. So, you wouldn't happen to know how much power and influence this guy yeah, has, Hobbit, would you? Hobbit, you know, I'm not really a big believer in coincidences. But it could very well be someone completely different with the same name. Hey, come on. You remember what those weird voices said over the open channel after we crossed over Antarctica, man? Something along the lines of, Claude will take care of it, right? That's when the damn sky ripped up in front of us. Look, I'm just saying, it could be someone completely different for all we know. Antarctica? You mean Antarctia? It, hold on, say that again? Antarctia, you know, the ice continent. So that's how it's spelt here? Wait. I gotta talk to you about this again. France does exist in your world, right? Yeah, we don't have an Antarctia, Belka, or a Yucto Jabba, the Hut, or whatever. Come on, Hobbit. You're not, you're not helping. She knows, okay? Okay, so Trigger always gets annoyed when I talk about this, but a very long time ago, and, you know, this was before I joined the military, I just... I kind of had this weird vision about being in someone else's house, and then... I see the TV, and they're talking about some country named France and another one called Germany. Yeah, you told me about this already. That was the first conversation we ever had. The fact that you mentioned those countries at all is why I was even okay with talking to you in the first place, because that's how I knew you weren't just messing with me. Attention on deck! As you were, sailors, carry on. Good evening, sir! sir. sir. Pick me if it's alright with you. And actually, you can stick around for this conversation, but I'd like to have a chat with Lieutenant Mitchell for a bit. Aye, aye, sir. At ease, son. So I've got to say you're a little dangerous up there, but above all else, very impressive. Thank you, sir. And you know, I'm just... Very happy to be up there again, the way I meant to. Yeah, I can tell, and I know you and Hobbit miss home. Your real home. Sir, so, so you believe us too? So this is why I welcome Pickme to stick around for this conversation. Mainly so she can vouch for me. Pick me. With all the crazy stuff that's been happening in this war lately, and even a former skeptic like Trigger is on the same page with us, Major Bez is a lot more open-minded than the usual higher-ups, because he thinks for himself. Just like everyone that's kind of a part of our team, so to speak. Well, with the more than honorable manner in which you and Hobbit have been conducting yourselves these past few months from your days in the Triple Four to working maintenance here, it just makes it easier to trust you. Besides, you admitted yourself that you're a little bit of a dangerous pilot so as to assure us all of your honesty. By God, he's come a long way from the man he used to be. I'll give him that. Well, I guess uh, traveling into a different dimension can really change a man. So I know you've had quite an eventful day today. And I know this is going to be a lot to ask, but something's got me worried about Trigger. Hopefully I'm wrong about what's been set up to happen to him and pick me tomorrow. But we might need you for the real thing. You know, the way I see it is, we might as well make ourselves useful while we're stuck here. Now, here's a very important reason, another very important reason, but I want to start with this. 
Pick Me did used to think we were crazy. And you know what? That's understandable because there was a time when I did go through a crazy phase. That being said, she was the first to understand us. She was the first to believe us. So if there's something out there looking to sabotage her, we're going to be involved in stopping that. Well, just like that. Christ, if only the boys back home could see you now. That's my pilot, everyone. I suppose that settles things with the both of you then. So what's going to happen is we'll have you on standby, but let's face it. It's almost guaranteed you'll be needed out there. Now, I can't officially have you be a part of Strider Team, but we'll call your crew by any designation you want. Now, I know this might not make much sense to you, but since we're basically backup, I suppose we could go by Voodoo 3. That strangely has a ring to it for some reason. I like that. Voodoo 3 it is. Hold on. You got a call sign, right? You didn't see his helmet? Rick? His call sign is just Rick? <laughs> you gotta read it from the front. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's... Maverick, Voodoo 3, do you read? Uh, Roger, Lunar, I, uh, read you Lima Charlie. I see you're out on the runway already. You good? I am authorized out here, right? Yeah, no, you're right where we need you. I could just swear I saw you somewhere else a minute ago. Hey, I can promise you one thing. There is only one of me. Hey, I get ya. It's on me. I just didn't get much sleep last night. I'm a little worried about Trigger and Pick. Oh, babe, we'll be fine, I promise. Yeah, what do you think Mav is out there for? Try not to give him a big head. It's a wreck. Uh, what is? Wait, you heard that too? Yeah, why? Set off as soon as we're ready. Because that wasn't a friendly speaking just then. already the magic word. Mav just does things. Hey, I am not always like that, but right now, I am like that. Hey, yeah, you're up. Clear for launch. Just go. Good luck. You know what, Lunar? You are very good at your job. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, well, what about me, Mav? We will get your name decaled on this plane when we get back home. How does that sound? All right, all right, yeah, that's a start. It's a start. Yeah, I, I get it. It means a lot to you. I know. Anyway, Strider 1, Fox 3. We doing this or not? Uh, whoops. <laughs> Trigger's already kicked off the game. We're going in. After Trigger. Strider team, your weapon's free. All aircraft, engage. Weapon's free. See? Told you. Sir, you didn't tell us there was a change in the H hour. Look ahead. Between our hot shot won't even last five minutes. I'll be the judge of that. Wait, what? Two incoming! Dumping the nose. There better not be another damn sandstorm. We've got vertical. Damn, the picture's crawling with arrows, Trig. I'm seeing nothing but green squares out there. Let's change that. Visual on a phantom. Fox 2! Strider 1, locked on target. We're coming down here. We're planning on maybe pass our prime, but we're going for sure. Yeehaw! Here we go, Cowboys, surround them! TV up, pick me. Strider 1, Fox 3. Strider 1, missile away. Come on, splash that Ruzi. Apostle has a lock. God, I love how bloodthirsty you are. I need my throw kills, man. It's different than I thought. Shut your trap and keep shooting. Shit. Do it with a bang. Yeah, that's kind of how shooting works. Three and four, head to 305. We're expecting some sort of ambush. Bowl over anything, Strider team. Trigger, I'm seeing advanced stealth fighters. SG-57s, highly capable planes. Stay on your toes if you engage them. Might be them. Their combat's a lot harder without Wiseman. You sure? Our man Trigger was an absolute monster just now. I appreciate the flowers, but Wiseman's a badass too. Yeah, enough so Wiseman much. bashing. I don't need no Wiseman to fly. Right-o! Up-o's and down-o's. I can't wait for you to start a cereal brand called Rhydos. Start your day off the affirmative way. <laughs> These guys are good. There's like 19 conversations going at once. It's not every day you're in a battle like this. Come on, try me. Nobody's got more combat experience than we do. Getting me all motivated and shit. Down quite a few and haven't even made a dent. Shut up. You see Trigger complaining? 
Fine. Here I go. Kill, kill, kill! Strider Squadron. Enemy aircraft have begun their assault on the fleet. Shifting to draw air superiority. I know that, but we're outnumbered. Pushing back hard. Then don't let them. Friendly hit. Red team's In your dead, Trigger. Getting out of the block. Thinking. When the enemy pushes back, make them regret that shit. Of course. They don't deserve mercy. See, pick me as the right mentality. Whistle away. Shatter their worthless souls. Target hit. Roger that, bandit. Yeah, the bandit even confirmed it, the weirdo. Yes, EW aircraft and Drake squadron are here. Oh, nice. Very nice. I didn't think you'd get her so quickly. Stuck on our Niner. The EW aircraft have strong ESM on board. It can improve your dogfighting capabilities by enhancing missile range, homing, and more. Fine, I'll cheat. <laughs> Hey, Count, do the bragging thing. Drake Slaughter, follow me. I'll show you how the pros do it. Was that for luck? Nah, he was gonna say something like that anyway. Wanted him to get it out of his system already. That's gonna be a splash. Fifth generation, my ass. Trigger shot down an SU-57. And there was a bang involved. Does he keep track of those? Roger. I feel like that's at dog whistle frequencies. It's making my damn visor glow. Is that supposed to even happen? Trigger splash the hostile. Good. The ESM's improving your aircraft's dogfighting capabilities. Finally, I can dogfight. I should have switched to Lanza. Hey, you splashed another one of those SU whatevers. Stingray looking ass plane. They're bunched up dead ahead. Yeah, I don't like any bandits near the fleet. Still keeping an eye out for unusuals. I'll send a Fox 3. That's a good kill, Pick. Jammed area on your radars. You see the size of that 
God, that shit is making my hair stand up. Splash that annoying bastard. Enemy EW aircraft is down. Great. They're jamming zone shrinking. Yeah, best to get these shitheads out of the way ASAP. I already can't stand them. We've got the right loadout for them, too. Yeah, we're still good on Fox 3. You ain't no match for me. Visual on one dead ahead. Strider 1, Fox 3. Strider 1, missile away. We're not fighting UAVs. It's just as hard on them as it is on us. Trigger took down the enemy EW aircraft. You see any more of those obnoxious asshats? I'm on the lookout. Strider 1 is killed a bandit. Picking one up on picture at our 11 o'clock low. Go to Can't get off. He's a little ways out there. Okay, I see him too. We're past the third checkpoint. We're halfway there. Some tough into all ships. Stay for me. Longcaster, we got another formation closing in on the coastline. All aircraft be advised. Enemy strike fighters are on the approach. They're fullbacks. Definitely faster than the ones before. This is a serious threat. Take them down. Take them down. Trigger. Let's get this done quick. Strider team, bring it in. Entering ESM range. Damn, that jammer bitch is in range. Strider 1, they're chewing on your tail. Locked on. I gotta disperse. On my enemy's tail. Properly, huh? We're in the range of enemy jammers. This will lock on and target capabilities are reduced. This is gonna be trouble. Missile. Anti-air Target enemy aircraft. Gonna need some cover, Strider. That's it. Trigger splash the fighter. Damage control to CIC. The engines are intact. We're still good. That would have been way too close if it wasn't for Trigger. That's a splash, Trigger. Missile is ready. Splash away immediately. Watch yes. two. It's the destroyer kite. Seawiz failed. Incoming. The landing ship is under attack. Keep the enemy away from our ships. All enemy EW aircraft confirmed destroyed. That's good news. Move in for intercept. Got a visual on the target submarine. Enemy's got a lot. Can you really hear the shoot? Yeah. Strider 1, missile away. Strider 1, missile away. We can't block the fleet fast. All personnel, abandon ship. Look, another destroyer has been sunk. Damn it! Fly out. We only want to strike. Damn, that's bad news. Target eliminated. Go to work. Looks like we'll have that beast captured in no time. They'll be happy to see us. Spend two years at the bottom of the ocean. They wouldn't want to go back to that. I see three strikes. <laughs> I'll kill you. Bitch, what? All aircraft be advised. Two bogeys on the approach. Aircraft type SU-47. Burkitts. The ocean doesn't have any of those. Where'd they come from? Hey, Ryan, can I kill them all? I've waited long enough.
We're just kind of toying with them right now. Any more intel on these assholes? Keep in mind, they aren't Erosians or Oceans. They're just two bats that came out of nowhere. That's a Roger Strider one. I'm Oscar Mike. God, I've missed this! So much! Me too, Hobbit. Me too. They weren't kidding about these suckers having armored planes. More than one missile to take out a majority of these bandits each. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's a splash. Probably many more to go. Many, many more to go. On our Niner, Mav! I see him. Voodoo 3, Fox 2. You're a beast right now, Mav. Jeez. At least you gotta see him train. Alicorn status, Longcaster. Roger that. Trigger, I got visual. Several priority tangos on picture, Mav. We got an intercept for the fleet. I've got you covered. I've got Tone. I've got Tone firing. How many kills is that already? Jesus, Mav. Well, I'm telling you right now, this is the most crowded sky I have ever been in. I think I see one. Fat black fast mover swinging around our 7 o'clock high. That's them, twin plane. Getting you locked on her, Mav. Check on that bandit. Oh, Does someone want to tell me why they're on an open channel? Uh, damn it. Well, that's because... Strikes, I will have this gun. You will die! What? Am I hearing things? No, I hear it too. Wait, really? Hey! Oh, Target building bats are on the run! Let them go. Secure air superiority and protect your allies. Voodoo 3, roger. That's what I like to see. A friendly shot down the S-234 approaching fleet. Yeah, they're gone, Mav. Shit! All ground targets destroyed. This takes away the enemy's service to ship capabilities. Find your trigger. Well, that was quick. Captain, they're ready for takeoff, sir. So we're prepared to sacrifice their lives to carry the cargo. Mission accomplished. Captain, I'm going to say that. Bombs fired. Save that senseless cruelty. No men must be sacrificed to put them to rest. There's that voice again. Captain, it's been dragged to the crew. They've tied down the enemy bird. Our men just might make it through. Well, there's some good news. Bandit merging! Target in sight. Drive bandit ready. Stay in Swinging the nose around. We see support from the SM. Quick right now! Well, Hobbit, I know we didn't come all this way out here just to chase someone off. Funny. That's technically how we got here in the first place. But I sure don't mind fighting alongside the Tomcat crew that inspired us to get through weird times like these. How are you guys doing out there? Well, I'm just happy to be where I belong. Up here. I feel you on that one, Mav. Goodness gracious. <laughs> don't worry, we'll be singing that sometime later. You guys are musicians? I, uh, yeah. Well, Mav is anyway. Let's just say he also knew a great piano player once. And it in range. Fox 2. Damn it. Show it to the guns. That feels good. Hey, Mav, is the fleet closing in? Well, from where I'm looking, a few ships here and there are in bad shape. The fleet's still moving now. They're nearing the coastline. They blow ahead both engines. Are you sure? The landing ship compass to all active units. Enemy submarine has started moving. Yeah, what? Commence firing. And guns commence fire. Bearing 1-0. A lot of clutter going on with the radio, guys. Mav, you gotta see this. All right, give me the situation, Trick. Alicorn fired on her with the rail gun. The landing ship's on fire. It's gonna sink. Okay, why do they have a rail gun? I'm telling you, Mav. Expect anything out of this damn war. They have a fucking carrier sub. Even I haven't seen shit like that. Confirming the launch of submarine-based aircraft. Four bird. It appears one of them is carrying a cruise missile. What? Uh, wow, that is a lot to take in, guys. They're locked. Voodoo 3 flares out. Hobbit, you are my savior. Just get a move on! Fire wallet! Shit, we're on your wing, Mav. It could be any one of these bastards. Trig, I got bad news. I swear to God I see another formation. It's four more flying in a different direction, different corner of the whole sector. Trigger, I think we need to split up because we don't know which one the decoy is. For all we know, both squads could be carrying a damn cruise missile. Oh my God. What the hell did we get ourselves into? A shit show. Yeah, it's one thing if our own lives are at stake, but mass murder on whatever scale he's planning. Unfucking believable Voodoo 3, Fox 3! Come on, come on. It has to be the lead plane. It's got to be the lead plane. Did we get the damn thing? For all you told me I'm... Holy shit! Oh, now that was a damn miracle if I ever saw one. Anyone got eyes on the other squadron? Trigger's gone up to them. Thank God. Strap him, Trigger. Heed my words. 20,000 meters until the aircraft exits the AO. Shit, shit, shit! Captain! 
If you ask me, they should have had Voodoo 3 out there right from the start. Well, even a small portion of Ustian forces wanted to pitch in. But just like you and Bez figured, someone's out for Trigger. The new intel boy even pointed out a backstabber within your ranks. Now you've got a master of disguise walking around, and I'm telling you, it ain't just because of your lack of sleep. You ain't just seeing things, sweetheart. Did I already thank you for saving my life months ago? Well, not like I can thank you enough anyway. Thank you so much, Cypher. My god. Can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you. You did thank me, actually. You've been buying me coffee every morning since I've landed here a few days ago. And I am so happy to. Don't even think about paying me back. Bristow, I kinda envy you, girl. Hey, I haven't quite got the job just yet. Fingers crossed, though. I need this. Bad. That look on your face is why I'm leaning towards a yes, Nadia. And anyway, it's up to Ustio. But the good news is, because of the state of everything, you're more likely to get what you want. I just really need you to be in a learning state of mind. I know what this breed of bloodthirst is like. And you know what? We're all here for you if you need anyone to talk to. No matter what happens from here on out. We were all brought here to tough this journey out, and I doubt any of us are leaving each other behind. You know too much. Just like the rest of us do. That makes you one of us. That really means a lot to me coming from you. He's absolutely right. You're a sister to me. I mean, the instant I heard you on that podcast, I knew I wanted to meet you one day. You seem real sweet. Especially with you standing with Trigger and Pick Me so publicly on the nation's most popular topic ever. God, I'm so over that shit. But at the same time, that shit needs to be fixed. Just... I don't know where to even begin with that, and even when the truth is out that they're innocent, what are they gonna do on the TV? Some quick little segment, if we're lucky, and then it gets swept under the rug just like the rest of their fuck-up reports. Why? because they don't want anyone seeing that. And that's how a lot of people get left behind on important info and still believe some of the dumbest shit every fucking time. My god, I can't imagine what they're going through with that. It's one thing to be a POW and then survive that mess, but those two have to be the bad guys for the rest of their lives. All they get out of this is a big promotion, and everyone in the unit admiring their valor, rightfully so, but they deserve better than that. A better life after their service. Anything out there could kill them at any moment, and they go down with half the nation thinking they're scum. It really pisses me off. That's another reason I'm here. To ensure they make it out of this alive. They're owed at least that much, if not more. All right, Nadia. Now look at what you're making me want to do. Hmm, what's that? That's selflessness. That's not something you can fake. I'm really gonna have to summon up some gall magic here and get Ustio on board with you flying with that mad dog displayed on your tail. And like I said before, Odds are in your favor anyway, but you definitely brought that yes to 100%. There's just no way I'm gonna let you go empty-handed. Cypher, I'm telling you right now, you are the best thing to ever happen to my family. You won't ever regret this. You know, with all this dire stuff that's been happening lately, ever since you helped Trigger and Pick Me survive the Triple Four, the energy of this whole war has kind of just shifted. I wouldn't let your guard down just yet, if ever, but 
Yeah, I've noticed that too. Now we gotta take the fight to the enemy. There's no room for letting up. All hands on deck. Each and every one of us count for something. Everyone. I'm with you on that. Definitely count me in too. We're all needed here.